Hi there guys, happy Friday and thank you for joining us. In studio today we've got Carl Watson who's just released a new album, Into the Morning. Um, so after a live performance from Kyle, we'll be taking some questions, so stick around.
ass Teaching me like I'm in Sunday school class I'm out to take a pass, snatch a piece of that Ah, girl you shake that ass Shake, shake, shake that ass Teaching me like I'm in Sunday school class I'm about to take a pass, snatch a piece of that Snatch 
without you I got a light in everything I do Now I know our love is true I know this love is true Stuck with me right from the start Made me better and you stole my heart You showed me that our love is true Now I know this love is true I got you, I got you, you're mine Every time that you smile, I'm fine So happy that our stars collide I got you, I got you I got you, I got you, you're mine Every time that you smile, I'm fine So happy that our stars collide
got to get ya.
Wow, that was incredible, Kyle. Thank you for that. Um, and thanks for sticking around, guys. Um, we're getting straight into our question time. Um, what made you want to write an album? Um, I really just wanted to uh, show people that I could produce more than house music, really. And this kind of gave me a okay. chance to jump into a bunch of different genres. Okay, great. Um, that takes us to our second. What was it like to collaborate with some of the featured artists? Yeah, I mean, I worked with some really, really cool musicians on this album. Um, one of them, the standout was PH Fat, obviously writing hip hop record was the first for me. Um, and then also working with Apple Gule again for the uh, third time, uh, <laughs> second time. Okay. Um, and then um, also Elisha James, who f uh, features on one of the sort of breakbeat records. Yeah. Um, he came in and he smashed his vocal in pretty much one take. Amazing. So, amazing, yeah. Yeah, and what do you hope to achieve with your album? I think I just really want people to see that, I, you know, even though I can make house music and I've been making it for like <laughs> over a decade, um, that I can actually write other, other types of music. Um, and it's just a really cool way to express that. Awesome. Um, where can people listen to your album? It, anywhere, really. If you type it into Google, type into the morning into Google, you're going to find it somewhere. Spotify, okay. iTunes, Apple Music, Beatport, like all of, all of the spots. Covered all your bases. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and vinyl. And vinyl, and vinyl. Of so course. you can actually get that yeah from oh, yeah, the, the record that. labels online store, the same nice. Bristol. Okay, has it helped you to spend more time on a specific track, or has it only led to overkill? Yeah, it's it's a good question. Um, usually, usually what I think is the the less time you spend on it, the more special it could be. Um, on the main idea at least. So, if you get an idea very quickly, instead of kind of having to like force mm. tons of ideas into one thing, it often works out better, and then you can then spend more time at the end kind of making it sound good you know finessing mm. everything that's usually <laughs> finessing better everything. <laughs> okay what's your best tip for simplifying your tracks but still retaining the excitement and the uniqueness yeah i think once again it's just you've you've got to really find that one one little hook or little melody or little bass line or whatever that's strong enough to stand by itself and that you can listen to over and over again and not get tired of it mm -hmm. um and then you kind of just build something, something around that. Then at least you're not trying to force a hundred other things into, mm. into your record. Keep it as simple as possible. Keep it, keep it simple and stupid. It's <laughs> like my motto. Okay, good. <laughs> well, Kyle, thank you for doing that with your album. Awesome. Thanks so um, much. Guys, be sure to catch a listen. Um, and once again, thank you for joining us today. And guys, thank you for sticking around. Um, yeah, have a good weekend.